Okay, guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about some approximations that we can do with the natural log and E. Um, and we'll also talk about how that relates to area that we looked at in the previous video. We'll talk about how we can sort of extend what we've already talked about with uh, E and the natural logarithm. Okay, so what I want to be able to do in this section is we'll use um, small values of t. Um, we'll show how we can approximate ln of one plus a small number, and we'll show how we can approximate e to a small number. Um, and then we'll talk about how we can estimate one plus r over x when x is a lot bigger than our r. So one plus a very small number again to a large power. And we'll talk about the area formula that we discussed in the previous video again. Okay, now I thought it was better for this first example to just show uh, a table showing what's happening here um, of looking at the natural log of one plus small numbers, right? So if you look at sort of the relationship between what's going in and what's coming out for t and natural log of one plus t, you'll see that all these numbers are pretty similar, right? So you see that if you have a small t value and you plug that into ln of one plus t, the answers are, are fairly close, right? They're not exactly close, but they're, they're fairly close. So we can say that for small t values, whether they're positive or negative. So for small t values, you can say that ln of one plus t is approximately whatever that small number is, all right? So, and again, of course, the idea is that your t value, whether it's positive or negative, should be very small, all right? As you get farther away um, from t equaling zero, as that t value gets bigger, the estimate will become less and less accurate, all right? And sort of the idea is you can remember that when t is zero, ln of one plus t would just be ln of one, which of course is zero. And then of course you have that zero is equal to zero, all right? So when t is zero, you get an exact equality, all right? And then of course, as t is small, you get something that's close to that, right? So the smaller t is, the more accurate it is. Okay. Now, what we can also do is we can talk about, again, if t is small, we know that ln of one plus t is close to t. Now, we can take this a step further, and if t is positive, and it doesn't have to necessarily be small anymore, we can say that the natural log of one plus t is between t and one over one plus t, all right? So those are two sort of nice properties that we can, that we can use here. And again, this is, does not matter on the size of t, it just needs t to be positive. Okay, so now another approximation that we can look at and again, here I didn't include the table because it's sort of the same idea, but we can say that if we have e to the x, that's roughly equal to one plus x, of course, when x is small, whether it's positive or negative, right? And of course, you can always say, okay, well, what if uh, x is zero? Well, then e to the x would become e to the zero, and you get one plus x, which would be one plus zero, which is one, all right? And of course we know that anything to the zero power is one. So again, when x is zero, you get the exact equality there, all right? And of course the smaller x is, the more accurate this estimate is. And then if you make x uh, larger, then it's gonna lose its accuracy. Okay, now, so this is what we just talked about and we can sort of, use a similar idea, I guess not maybe a similar idea, but a um, idea related to E where we can make another approximation. Now in a previous video, I said that you can find what E is, or even E to the X, we can take it one step further, is found by taking one plus X over N to the N, 
and by making n go to infinity, this becomes more and more accurate, right? This will be closer and closer to the true value of e to the x, right? So with that in mind, if x is a very large number, is very large, then we get this equality here. And of course, this also requires that x much bigger than r So if your R is a large number, just make X extremely large, right? And then the, the larger you make X, the more close that this will resemble the derivation for E to the X and you'll get a more accurate approximation. Okay, so let's see this in action. So we wanna estimate 1.00, let's see, there are four zeros and then two, and then this is being raised to the 40th. I just want to rewrite this because it's maybe not very clear based on the font there, all right? Now, we can, of course, estimate this because this is one plus a small number, all right? And since this is one plus a small number raised to a power, we want to use the definite, the approximation that we just saw, which was e to the r, is roughly equal to one plus r over x to the x as long as x is a large number. All right, what well, looks like here, our x is, sorry, cho chosen for us, our x is just going to be 40 here, right? Because that's what this exponent is. Now, I need to be able to say r over x is equal to point zero 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 two right because the formula calls for one plus something right and here i have one plus point zero 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 two so i need to say that the r over x part is point zero 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 two now we know that x again is 40 so to get r we would just multiply both sides by 40 and we're gonna get that r is equal to 0 0.0008, I think. Let me just double check that and make sure I counted my zeros right. So 40 times 0 0.00002 gives me, okay, yeah, so this is the right r value that we need here. So now that I have my r value, I just need to find e to the r, so e to the 0 0.0008. So if I do e, to the point zero 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 eight, we get that this is one point zero 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 eight zero zero three two. Right, and of course you can see that that's close to the one plus r number as well. Right, so this is also close to one plus r. All right, so that's sort of an interesting problem to look at there. Okay, now I believe this is the last, yeah, this is the last approximation that we're gonna look at. And this says that if we want to raise one plus a small number to a power, then we can say that one plus t to the n is roughly equal to one plus n times t, right? And that's sort of what we saw in this last example, because if you look at, r over x in this case, that's where you got the point zero, 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 0002, right? And that's sort of close to, um, that's sort of close to also one plus our power 40 times point zero, 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 0002, right? And really, because we found it the same way. So that's sort of the idea. Okay, so those are some cool approximations that you can do using the natural log and E. Okay, now for the remainder of this section, we're gonna talk about some of those area formulas that we looked at in the previous video, All right? So just to refresh your memory, area of one over X comma B comma C, this is the area between 
um, one over X, Y equals one over X, the X axis, and from X equals B to X equals C. All right, sort of the way that we've defined this. Now we wanna say that all of these, these things are equal here, right? So we wanna be able to say that these three quantities are equal. All right, now the trick to this is we wanna talk about one over X. We wanna sort of word this all in terms of one over X from one to something, right? So this is the first one. Now, if I wanted to say that the area from two to four, but I also wanna get a, um, a one to something in there, let's look at this. So let's maybe draw this out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now the idea is that we're looking for the area, and we basically want to show that this area is the same as, so then from two to four is the same as this area which is the same as this area, all right? So we wanna show that all three of those regions have the same area. Now, how can we talk about, so th the first one is just, it is what it is, right? Now the second one, which I have in the blue, so let me maybe do that in blue. If I wanna say the area of one over X from two to four, but I sort of want to word that from one to something. I could say that this is the area of one over X from one to four minus the area one over X from one to two, right? Because the area from one to four would be all this stuff. And then the area from one to two is this part and I'm getting rid of that, all right? And then similarly, in the third one, which I have in red, so let's put that in red, I could say that the area between one over X and four to eight, this is the area from one to eight, minus the area from one to four, All right? And that's sort of how we're going to show that this is true. Now we're gonna do this, so let me give myself a little bit more room. We're gonna do this by using a previous property that we had. We're going to do this saying that the area of one over X from one to some number to a power is equal to that power times just the area from one to C. All right, and again, this is sort of, well, I won't get into it because that's the next example, I think. So let's, let's do that. So the first one is just area, one over X from one to two. That one's not gonna really change. All right, and maybe I should do that in orange. So let's keep everything consistent here. So the first one was just area, one over X from one to two. All right, now the second one is area of one over X from one to four minus area one over X from one to two. But we can think about what's four, it's really two squared. All right, and then minus area one over X from one to two. But by this rule, right, by this here, I can bring this two out front. So this is two area, one over X from one to two times one area, one over X from one to two. So of course, what does this give me? This gives me one area of one over X from one to two which is the same as this, all right? So that's the first one. And then the third one, we'll use a similar argument, right? So for the red one, 
I have the area of one over X from one to eight, and I'm gonna write eight as two to the third. This is two to the third, and this is minus area from one to four, but I'm gonna write four as two squared. So then by the power rule, this is three area, one over X from one to two, minus two area, one over X, one to two. So what do we get? We get one area, one of X from one to two. All right, so all three of those different regions that we looked at at the beginning are the same, the same amount of area. All right, so that's a cool thing that we can show. Okay, now the example that I sort of alluded to a second ago, well, this is, here we're going to recall that the area of one over X from one to C, remember that was what we defined to be the natural log of C, right? So now if you have the area of one over X from one to two to the third, this is the natural log of two to the third, but we could also say by the power rule that the three times this area of just one to two is three times ln of two, right? But these two are equal by the power rule, right? So that's sort of an interesting observation to make there. Since that area sort of represents our natural log, we sort of still get the same power rule that we did for natural logs, right? And I think this is, yes, yeah, so this is the last example in this section. We want to explain why this is true. And really this is just reiterating what we just said a second ago. When you have the area of one over X from one to C, one to C to the T, this is natural log of C to the T. But by the power rule for logarithms, logarithms, what is ln of c to the t? That's t times ln of c, all right? But by our area formula, this is t times the area one over x, one to c, right? And we've shown that those two things are equal, right? This thing here and this thing are equal, all right? So those are some things that we can do with approximations in the area that relate to e and the natural log. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.